Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm here with another video, stories, school stories, it's been a while since I did one of these, last time I did this it was oh, quite a while ago now, uh, since I last did one of these school story episodes, it's took me a while to plan it all out, script it all up, get it all set but here we go here's another school story just for you to enjoy so sit back relax and enjoy the story of being stuck in horrifying education yep we're going down that alleyway <clears throat> so this one happened in secondary school and obviously with me, I have autism, which means that sometimes I find certain things harder to do. And I was put in roughly about mid-class when it came to a lot of my lessons because of like my obviously assessed school performance. I was in uh, mid-class. So they had like three areas of classes. They had mid, you had low mid and high <clears throat> so i was like in the mid i was in the middle um but basically yeah i was always put in middle class and like obviously i extremely struggled with a lot of my lessons quite a lot obviously that's not my fault most of it was part of my autism and obviously i struggled with a lot of things due to that but like for these lessons, there were a whole bunch of students in there that would really just totally destroy my experience within that classroom. I barely got much of my learning done within those classes because most of the time other students were misbehaving in that class. Not only that, but it was extremely noisy because of their misbehaviour. Literally had students shouting and bawling, you had all the staff shouting and bawling, it really wasn't good enough. I literally like ended up having quite a lot of headaches and having to literally request for time out an awful lot within those classrooms just because it was far too much, far too overwhelming to have far too much noise going on in that room. Okay, I usually tend to like being in smaller groups with students that are actually able to be a little more appreciated that I like it when it's a bit quieter. I like a nice quiet place to learn and do my lessons in. And that's that's just how I prefer it. But every single time I get kicked into I get put into a class, there's like ah it's like <laughs> I don't know what that was, but they're <laughs> yeah, they're literally like that. And like, yeah, it's just, it was just nuts to think that they put me in a class where I literally everyone was going mad, everyone were getting put, well, everyone were getting in trouble for, for everything, anything and everything. Even if they didn't do anything wrong at all, they'd just get in trouble for it. It was stupid, and it was far too loud. Literally, I always tended to request staff members. To literally move me to a different class. One where the class was a little bit smaller. And one where it was a little bit more quieter. And it did work. It did happen. But it didn't go the way that they were supposed to make it go. They were supposed to keep it in the same school class that I was currently in. So mid. It was supposed to keep it as that, but put me in a slightly smaller and quieter group. But they couldn't find one that was in my same performance. So I get led into another class, but this class was lower than the one I was currently in. So I was put down to low class, which wasn't good enough for my, obviously, current performance. When being assessed and stuff, I was at mid I was at mid-class rating when it came to my essays and stuff. 
which is why they put me in that sort of class range. <clears throat> but I get I kept getting put into these lower classed groups. Obviously they're smaller. But still it wasn't quiet. And there was a lot more ill behaved students within the other class, within the more smaller class. So even then I couldn't get anything done at all. Because literally the member of staff within that was teaching that group was like having to, you know, tell other students off because they weren't behaving well. So literally I had it no I had it like literally unavailable at all times. So it didn't matter what class I was in. Either I mean one class and the students was like, ah hmm. Like the students are like that. And then I of oh you in another class and they're still going, ah It's literally nuts. It's nuts. And I, I just didn't like being in lessons. And mo most of the time sometimes I've just wanted to go out Take a good long break. Because I needed it. I was like literally. Literally I pr processed it quite a lot. And I was like. Continuously complained. That my education. Was being affected by other students. That weren't behaving properly. Within. Within the lessons. And with. With staff like dealing with them. They're unable to deliver. The tutoring that they're supposed to be delivering. Which means then that's going to affect me. Because I'm not actually getting the correct form of tutoring that I'm supposed to get. You know. It, it was just horrendous being in all the classes. Because they just put me in the wrong ones every single time. But there's another school story. Done and dusted. And now, all of you, go to detention straight away. See you in the next video.